Hey everyone. Welcome back to the S3 Cloud Hub. In today's video, we're going to create an AI generated website using GitHub Copilot. And we'll do it in just five minutes. That's right, see how AI can supercharge your web development process. Let's jump right in. First things. First, make sure GitHub Copilot is up and running in your IDE. For this demo, in using Visual Studio Code, but you can use any IDE with GitHub Copilot support. If you don't have GitHub Copilot installed, head to the Extensions tab in VS Code. Search for GitHub Copilot and install it. Then, sign in with your GitHub account to activate it. Let's start by creating a new project. Open your terminal and create a new folder for your website. I am creating a folder for project name is AI website. Next, initialize your project. Whether you're using a framework like React or just plain HTML, set up the necessary files. I am going with plain HTML for simplicity. In your index.html file, add a basic HTML structure. GitHub Copilot will handle most of the details for you. Now, let's let GitHub Copilot take over. Type a comment in your index.html file describing what you need. Like, add a navigation bar. GitHub Copilot will suggest code snippets based on your comment. Just accept the suggestions to automatically generate the navigation bar. Repeat this process for other parts of your website. Now, let's move on to styling. For styling type a comment like asterisk add styles for the navigation bar section asterisk. GitHub Copilot will provide styling suggestions. Finally, for interactivity, Add comments in your JavaScript. For example, type forward slash forward slash add a click event for the button. And just like that, GitHub Copilot will generate the JavaScript code for you. Let's check out our website. Thanks to GitHub Copilot. It's looking great. That's it for today. In just five minutes, we've created a functional website with GitHub Copilot. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the S3 Cloud Hub for more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.